Reducing human impact on rivers and the springs that supply our drinking water is a year round effort. This is a look at the different counties in Central Texas that make up the Edwards Aquifer system. Tonight, we're going to take you to the San Marcos River to see how conservation efforts are trying to help balance wildlife habitat with recreational use. The night team's Patty Santos tells us why a healthy river in Hayes County means a strong water system for Bear County. When water consumption in and around San Antonio goes up, recreation in places like the San Marcos River can be impacted. If you decrease the level of the aquifer, it can get to a point where we no longer have springs or the spring flow gets really low. And then consequently, we begin to lose our river flows. Melanie Howard, the Habitat Conservation Plan Manager for the City of San Marcos, explains why the Edwards Aquifer Authority and other agencies pump resources into conserving the river, springs, and natural habitat. It is also the river of many, many, many different species. And those species are dependent on it being healthy and clean, good river flow. For the last seven years, the conservation team has been working on a plan to clean the river restore natural plants, habitat, and educate the public. Every summer we pick up literally like thousands and thousands of um, bags of trash and cans. Trash that would otherwise end up downstream. I have seen a change in the public's attitude and I've seen it get cleaner too. Boatloads of vegetation is removed daily to help a rare species. This is Texas wild rice and it only grows in Hayes County. Through the conservation efforts, they've really seen it thrive. Vegetation gets caught up on the plants and it shades it out and stops up the flow of the river and it'll actually kill the plants. Bryce Kuda says the work to maintain a healthy river and river bank is year round. We spend a lot of time removing non-native trees and then so years later you'll see the natives coming back and the land gets restored to a natural condition. The hope is that river visitors don't take this natural treasure for granted. If we had no endangered species, we would have no protection for our flows. It is because of those species that we have a river. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. The Edwards Aquifer Habitat Conservation Plan has been in place since 2013 in San Marcos and New Braunfels. The EAA is funded through water withdrawal fees paid by companies like SAWS to help maintain habitat for federally protected species that live in the San Marcos and Comal Springs systems.